Hamilton packed to Pure Nebraska. Addie Hale started to find her stride when she got involved with junior high cross country in Malcolm. She kept improving the last couple of years, and it's plain to see at this point Addie was born to run. But as Lash Schwartz discovered, she has many other talents, including playing the accordion, and she wants to keep this kind of music alive. I mean, it's kind of like relaxing because when I'm just like running, I have like a lot of time to like think about stuff. It's just a lot of like me time. Addie Hale has turned her me time into the trip of a lifetime. Apparently they send out like scouts to cross country meets all over. And so I got a letter and then I was like, wow, this is cool, but I'm never going to be able to go because I was like, how am I going to afford this? And then my parents were actually pretty cool about it. And so, yeah, here I am. It's obvious that Addie loves to run, but there is another great passion in her life. It's the accordion. Addie, please roll out the barrel. <laughs> Well, my grandpa bought me my first accordion when I was about eight or so. And then... this 14-year-old freshman started getting serious about playing the button accordion when she was 12 years old. Just because, like, I started at, like, a young age and then I'm kind of, like, playing and not a lot of people my age do it. And so I just kind of want to be, like, known for that. <laughs> Addie loves polka music so much, she even started her own band. I really haven't seen anything quite like it. Addie's accordion teacher has no doubt that this young lady is a full-fledged prodigy. With Addie, for her to come over and never hear a song before, and in 20 minutes to be playing it, that's beyond me. <laughs> Addie's parents say their child takes her accordion career quite seriously. She's booking her own jobs. I mean, she plays at bars. People actually hire that kid. And she has a great following. It's sweet to see. And she's just made really great relationships. And she's also made a CD full of her band's polka music. I don't know. I never imagined my 14-year-old would have a CD. I mean, I listen to this all the time. Dan is happy that his daughter has embraced her Czech ancestry. I'm really proud of that uh, because it just seems like a lot of the, uh, the Czech heritage is, is vanishing as the years go by. And this Czech princess is doing all she can to keep polka music alive in Nebraska. It's kind of like a dying tradition and so I want to help keep it going. <laughs> Yeah, so we move from Addie's great story there on the accordions to the first Friday of every month. You can hear accordions playing at the Butler County Senior Center. This is where we were. It's called an accordion jam session. Now, if you play the accordion, you're encouraged to attend as anyone is welcome to jam. <laughs> and they did jam. Brad and I were there uh, at the Butler County Senior Center. Brad, I think they could have used you. I mean, I think they were thinking maybe you would play the accordion or try your hand at it. He could be in a, a prodigy really. too, you don't know. No, well, I'm not, because uh, I've tried. My grandma had one of those, <laughs> and uh, I almost dropped it when I was trying to work on it. So uh -huh. that was That's all you time. did was just drop it? I almost dropped it. Oh, almost so, dropped it. That's right, so I didn't really know how to hold it. But you could try again. Can you take him up there? Absolutely. Now is the time. Now is the time. <laughs> But, you know, the, the, the accordion sound is really cool. I mean, you know, yeah. it's uh, something you don't hear every day, and it just sounds pure Nebraska to me. Well, I love it how this young girl at 14 is keeping it alive, you know? Yeah, that's right. That's really neat. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the accordion jam session there. And uh, pick up the CD that Addie has. That's true. Too. I could listen to that in the car on my road trip. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching Pure Nebraska. We'll see you here tomorrow.